So. Ich mache jetzt das hier. Tierfreundschaft oder das hier. Dann gebe ich ihm das. Oh. Mistra. And yet even magic. Would you like to experience this? Then follow my lead. Now you. You feel something strange, like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time. It's warm and comfortable. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. Athra Mistra Ril Kantrak Eo. Suddenly, the scent of rose water and a sense of well being. A sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue. Very good. Now, I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony. As true as you can. of a woman the woman who hovered over gail's palm there's something like the anticipation of a kiss then the pleasure of being cloaked in peace you are safe you are nestled in the cup of mistra's hand <laughs> you did it you're channeling the weave that it does the weave connects you The moment feels intimate. Uh -oh. so weak. You realize the weave is making you one. You have but to imagine your desire, and Gale will know it. in den Markt zu drehen. The weave evaporates and as it does so you really feel suddenly cold and lonesome. Ihr wird nix. Oh. There it goes. How easily things slip away from us. Pure friendship. No matter how hard they were in the obtaining. Good night. I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. Nasty way to go. Suffocating slowly under a ton of rust. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? Thank you. Oh, good gods. It hardly has any effect. Oh, Mistra, have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. What I am is a walking shadow. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. And from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The Lady of Mysteries. The Goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time she became my muse. And later even my lover. 
Oh, yes. We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. Swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. And yet I wasn't satisfied. <coughs> so I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Suffice it to say, I obtained an obscure and ancient book that had locked away inside it was a fragment of primal weave. What if, I thought, what if I was certain that this deed of raw power draped in romance would convince Mistra to take me by the hand? I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. Here, place your hand over my heart. You feel the tadpole quiver. As you realize Gale is letting you in, into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread man. A book, bowed, has suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws. It's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize. I will erupt. I know. All of this. It must feel like a betrayal. Thank that is. You truly are a soul that steals my own. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me, I stand at a precipice. But if you do not give up now. After all, oh, special. 